And so I think this is a massive struggling and suffering for a lot of people to make choices. Um, because we've learnt that choices either bring pleasure or pain. So choice, so making a choice can be, can bring you good things or bad things. And we've also been taught lots of times by our parents as to what's a good choice and what's a bad choice and what society's taught us as well. So there's lots of different things about choice making that can make it really super complicated. I think when all these things are playing, it's too complicated. So when when you're um, trying to make a choice and you've got parent conditioning, society conditioning coming up, fear of the future coming up, then that's too painful to make big choices. Maybe it's okay to decide what sort of dinner you want to have tonight, but it that can be too overwhelming. So I think what's better is to to try and investigate what it is you want and then move towards that gradually. And and the best time to investigate what you want is when you feel more balanced and more at home. And then you look inside yourself what it is that you're, not your thinking mind, but more your body is responding to, like what it is you really want. I think that when you're in overwhelm, so when you're faced with a decision and you're feeling overwhelmed, I think by that point there's too many factors going on. So I think the more wise thing to do in that situation is just to come, um, just to not make the choice then and come back to your body and relax and then do it later and try and understand what it is your body's asking for and wanting, which is something that changes and is evolving and updating. Yeah, but choices can be a complicated thing because they can involve other people. But again, be aware, like I was saying that, I was saying that more, that, that choices can be a complicated thing, just out of compassion for peace, people and just as a way to help relax you if you're freaking out about a choice or if you're upset about a choice. But actually, that is a thought process. And even that thought process that choice is a complicated thing is going to make choice complicated. Thoughts have an amazing impact on us. So even that is something you can forget about, that choices are complicated. Like recondition yourself with choices are simple. I was only saying that in order to relax you, but really the way to do it would be to recondition yourself that choices are simple. So when you see that thought coming up, recognize it, realize the feeling of disempowerment that comes with it, and then turn it to be more positive and laugh and be like, actually, choices can be really simple and then make a really simple choice, like have a cup of tea. Like even that thought, choices are complicated, is something that comes from society and we don't need that. Choices are simple. That's a way lighter thought process. In it, Cleesey. But that's not talking so much about non-duality because on the ultimate level, there is no chooser. So there's nobody guilty. There's nobody responsible. All of it is the divine acting out. Like, how do we move our hand? How do we move our head? But on the relative level, the human feels like it cho chooses. So it feels like it makes a decision between going to the toilet or watching the rest of the stream between having dinner or going out with friends. And there can be so many difficult conditionings that you have coming up with choices and that's the place to investigate as well. Like don't just try to push positivity on you but notice on yourself but also notice your conditioning around choice making, your parents conditioning, your conditioning from society, your thought processes around it. Do you think you're good enough? Do you think you're worthy of, of something? So you can see something really beautiful that you want and then instantly you don't feel worthy and then you struggle to make the choice to whether to buy it or not and you're not conscious of any of that. All you feel is uncomfortable on the surface and overwhelmed. So just notice on the human level what's happening in the body. And the more that you notice, so if you're saying, 
if you're unconsciously saying I don't deserve that dress or I don't deserve to look pretty or I don't deserve it because there's all these people starving or whatever it story it is, notice that story and say I do deserve goodness, I do deserve what I want. But first of all you have to recognize the story before there can be a more positive input. If you don't recognize it then it's going to be fake, you're going to be trying to fake your way through it. I do deserve that and in a way, like I remember catching these thoughts when I realized that I could be quite negative and still now I try to recondition myself to be positive. I catch myself, like I caught myself a minute ago saying two choices can be complicated. Which isn't true, choices can also be super simple, it's not a truth, it's not a fact, it's just a thought. And so you can see that and that can be sad when you realize that you feel you're not worthy. You're not worthy because other people don't have it or you're not worthy da da da. Like how do you know the way the universe is working? And what is worthy and what isn't? And why are you having thoughts that make you feel bad? even if it is supposed compassion or liberalism, which I support, but that's not a way to make yourself feel bad. 